Welcome to Talk Business with Audrey. This is day number 13 of my 100 video day challenge. Now I gotta confess, <sighs> I missed yesterday. And of course you probably know why I missed yesterday and I'm not making an excuse. I got tied up with the Super Bowl and making stuff for the Super Bowl and Super Bowl party and all that good stuff. So I missed yesterday but I had a great time with my family and my friends and um, you know we, we are deeply saddened that the Falcons didn't win. However, there's always next year. So, uh, we grieved last night on our way home, and we are over the grief right now. So, today is a new day, and, um, you know, there's always next year. So, let's get on to what I'm really here to talk about. So, today I'm going to talk about something that I did. It's kind of funny because um, it was really guerrilla style marketing. So, uh, I love magazines and anybody that knows me know that I love magazines. So I'm in my office right now. And if you can see my office, I have a stack of magazines over there. I have two stacks of magazines back there. I have a stack of magazines in my bedroom and, um, because I love magazines. And so I love to, I got magazines that I've saved, um, out of my garage and a bin because there was a magazine that came out called, um, Blueprint Millionaire. That was the best magazine ever because it was so honest and so true because it talked to entrepreneurs and it was a step-by-step -step guide to what they did not only did they give you a guide they also gave you the resources that they used so if they used a particular vendor they told you exactly who the vendor was what the telephone number it was it was just one of the best magazines ever and so um, the publisher of that magazine died and, I, and when, the, when he passed away the magazine just went downhill and um the family took over and they couldn't keep it afloat and it folded but it was one of the best magazines ever and if i had to redo a magazine um you know i, I would love to do something like that i tried my hand at magazine publishing too um <clears throat> haven't given up on that dream yet because i love magazines but anyway that's not why we're here um so what i did was i, I love barnes and nobles because i always that's my, that's where i relax at like for some people it's playing golf my husband, he likes to fish. Um, for me, it's like going to Barnes & Noble and reading all the magazines that I don't subscribe to. So whenever I feel like I really just, I really need some downtime and take a break, I go to Barnes & Noble. So when I was living in Jersey, <clears throat> the um, the magazine buyer or, or the person that was in charge of all the magazines, he knew me and I knew him by, for, by, by the first name. And so I was always in there. So what I did was I... um. I, I, this particular day, I said, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna take some bookmarks me. So I took about 50 bookmarks, right? And I spent pretty much about four or five hours in Barnes & Noble. And I put bookmarks in all of the magazines that I read and all of the magazines that I wanted people to find, uh, found out about my book. Now, <clears throat> that's that's pretty guerrilla marketing right there. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know exactly how many sales I got from the bookmarks because back then, it wasn't a whole lot of tracking. Um, uh, so I don't know if I got any sales at all, but I think that that was a way for me to get my name out there um, and for people to find out about the book. So let me tell you what was on the bookmark. So there was a cover of the book on the bookmark. I had um, the web address on the bookmark, and I had what the book was about. So make sure if you're going to try this tactic um, to put your name your name on the book bookmark and your website because you want people to go to your website i did about 50 of those and i and you know that's something i'm probably going to do again because i haven't tried that in a long time and i'm i'm in georgia now and um, i'll still go to barnes and noble whenever i need to get that that downtime where i really need to like go down and just chill out i'll go to barnes and noble so check that out let me know listen let me know if any of these things work for you, you can go to talk business with the biz Leave a comment on a blog post. Like these, these, these videos are on my website. <clears throat> They're also on Behind the Book TV website. So just go there and leave me a comment. And let me know if any of these, uh, these little tips that I'm sharing with you that, that help you. You know, because I would like to know. I'm talking for a hundred days here, so I want to know if I'm helping anybody. You know, if I help one person, I've done my job, and um, and I, and I still have day number thirteen. What I have, eighty-seven more days ago. So I got eighty-seven more days ago. 
And so I'm going to keep doing this until I get all 87 days out. But um, think of Go Real Style Marketing. And I'm going to bring you things that I've done, things that I plan on doing, things that other people have done to market their book and grow their business. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> Um, so I hope this helps. I'll be back again tomorrow, God willing, uh, with another great tip or strategy for you. And so if you uh, leave me a leave me a comment, talk business with Audrey dot biz or behind the book TV dot T dot club. Listen, also, if you want to get your book on TV, if you got a book trailer, if you have an interview that you've done, if you have a if, you, if you've described your book, you want, if you want to talk about your characters. Check out behind the book TV dot club because that is a um, a TV channel that I'm launching on Roku on February 15th. So check that out. Maybe something interesting you to help you get more exposure for your book. So, yeah, that's it. I'll be back again tomorrow, God willing, with another great tip or strategy. And until next time, make it a great day. Bye, everybody. <laughs>